Hey y'all, it's me again. I decided that instead of brooding about the mail lady, I would come in here and work on this bar stool and just show you a um, little technique that I learned from watching all those videos. And um, anyway, I'm not the best in the world, but I just wanna show you the blending technique that I learned. Not sure who I learned it from, just watching Debbie's videos and Debbie's so much better than I am. I'm not in her league, but I have learned a little bit. So, uh, I've already did my colors on this earlier and let it dry. Um, I started with Bohemian Blue at the bottom and Mermaid Tail, Petal Pusher, Old 57, Mint Chip, and ended up with um, Vintage Linen. Sorry about that. Okay. And basically what I do, and this is what I understand that everybody does, you're gonna wet this back down. This is the Water Girl from the Blue Eye, Turquoise Iris. Um, I just kind of reacted you. This, this is what I love about DIY paint. You can come back later and reactivate this with water. So I don't want it much because I, I made a mess of it earlier. Uh, don't want much water on it, but I'm gonna start with just a old chippy brush that I had been. It's just basically got some of the same colors in it that I've been working with here. And um, I'm just gonna reactivate that and start brushing in. I'm not adding any, I will add some paint in, but really not adding in anything. Just wanna start blending that line together. And if I start seeing a little bit of uh, the actual wood, I'll dab, it, dab me some more on my brush. Anyway. Just start going up and just blending. I don't know if you can see me real well, but basically just blending that line so the line does not, there's no distinction between the two colors. And it's almost like a dry brush. Uh, but I just keep going back and forth with the brushes and the colors until I just start seeing them blend like I want them to blend. much because I don't want to, it will reactivate and start running and that's not what, that's not what I want this to look like. I don't, I just want it to blend really soft and, and just see a graduate of colors. Nothing, just real subtle, nothing major. Okay, I'll see ya. If you overwork those colors, it, they will start bleeding into one and, and you can't, I don't see that distinction. I don't want it to be too distinct, but I don't want it to be all one big goobly gawk of color, if that makes sense. I don't even know what word that is, but you know, that's, that's a Christy word, I'm just saying. Okay, that spot's getting on my nerves there. Okay, and I'm gonna come on up to this part. I may need a little bit more water. I didn't really want to, so I'm gonna add a little bit of 57 over here to kind of reactivate that line there. And some mint chip 
and I'm almost out of these colors. So that means I have to order new colors. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm dipping the brush in there because they're almost gone. Okay. On home stretch here. And again, I just keep going back down to the next color. That more match you. Yep. Just love these colors together. I absolutely love anything blue. So the blue green is just to me, it's phenomenal. Debbie did an awesome job at all these different colors. This paint is absolutely phenomenal. I have used different chalk paint over the years. Um, I don't know if it's kosher name and names, but I don't sell Debbie's paint. I would love to, but I don't sell it. I don't have a storefront or anything like that. One day I will. But until then, I'm just going to paint. So I, I don't, this is no paid advertisement. I just, when I like something, I like it. And I've used Annie Sloan paint back in the day. That That's really where I first ever heard of chalk paint was Annie Sloan. And I'm sure if you chalk paint at all that you're going to, before I get into the story, let me finish this. Okay, I'm pretty much done and satisfied with the blending on this part of it. I may go back and, no, when it, maybe it dries, if I see some patchy, patchy looks here and there, I may go back and, but anyway, that kind of shows you the blending technique there. Did really well, and that's what it looked like before I started that. And of course, I have to go all the way around it, so I got quite a bit, but, Back to my singing praises on Debbie's paint. I started out using Annie Sloan's paint. And, and I, I love Annie Sloan paint. It's it's great. It's um, I painted all of my... Uh, in the other house that we lived in before we built this one, it was my grandfather's home. And um, I redone all the kitchen. And, and I'd heard about chalk paint. So I'm like, I can do that. So... Duck Egg Blue was my favorite color, which it's on the blue line, the bluish green. And um, I, I painted, I tackled my cabinets by myself, repainted all of my cabinets with any Sloan Duck Egg Blue chalk paint and distressed it, never distressed anything in my life, but turned out beautiful and that got me hooked. And I used the dark wax on it, her dark wax. The only thing I... Well, there's several things, but anyway, through the years, I've I've used different chalk paints and um, always pretty much stuck with any Sloan uh, chalk paint, and I uh, redone several dressers and just may, not to sell, but just mainly for me, just because this is what I like to do. I like to craft and and um, so I had heard of DIY paint, but never really looked it up. And because uh, I was pretty much when I get stuck on something, I'm stuck on it and I'm very loyal. And so I just didn't go look it up. Well, during this situation, like Debbie calls it, I just started looking around on YouTube at some different painting techniques and ran across DIY paint again. So I thought, OK, I'm just going to look at it. So I pulled up Debbie's site and was blown away at her technique and to me, it just opened a whole new world of chalk paint because in my brain, I thought it was all about the rustic, rugged. Back then, when I first started, it was all about the rustic, rugged, distressed, heavy, heavy, distressed. And I'd go to flea markets and buy all this old, old, old stuff. And that that's what I, that's the kind of stuff that I enjoyed. But I looked at hers and I was like, this is different. This is just looks different. This, I think I, like all that layering and, and blending and she and it, she just kept saying something about it being reactivated with water and I'm like now any Sloan's paint is pretty stout especially the wax so it's definitely not um I don't know what you call it whatever Debbie's is it, it, it it's a total different ball game so I decided to order my first bit of paint from DIY and I am hooked. It's just so just amazing, soft, and 
buttery feeling and it's just I, I don't even know how to describe it and I just I love it and and so like I said when I'm loyal to something I'm loyal so I put all my other little paints up in the cabinet and have started collecting the DIY and I really 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 love it and um, I get on here and act stupid and silly and but that's who I am <laughs> most of the time but I just wanted to show you a little bit of a serious side that I have been painting, I promise. But um, anyway, one day I'm going to be a, when I grow up, I'm going to be like Debbie and I'm going to have my own storefront one day when I grow up. But anyway, I just thought I'd jump on here and show y'all my blending technique from the crazy video lady of Texas. That's the way I do it. And if I'm doing something wrong, I'm sure somebody going to let me know. And if I am, you just let me know and I'll try your way out and we'll see. I don't have a problem with it. I try new stuff all the time. I can't tell you it always turns out right. That phone case I told you about, mm -hmm, flop, number two, flop, flop, flop. I still want Debbie to do a phone case. I I'm hoping she'll watch this video and she'll say, poor girl, she needs a phone case because I'm just going to tell y'all. This is an 11-minute video, and some of you has already turned it off and clicked the like button because you want me to think you watched it, and I know you didn't because you didn't get to this part. Some of you might, and I'll know if you mention it, and you know who you are. <laughs> anyway, I drove Debbie crazy about a phone case that she was selling, and I kept saying, I need an 11 Pro Max. She said, well, I have a le that's what kind of phone I have, and it's added on there. And I love you, Debbie, but you added it, but there is no 11 Pro Max on there. And I ordered it because I'm thinking in my little brain, an XS is the biggest one you had on there. And I thought, I can use that on mine. I'll just, you know, my little has, I start, I start to get my camera and show it to you, but <laughs> that's my phone. And it's, it's videoing me. Anyway, it's got three little cameras on the back, and the XS only has two, but I tried. I've had the XS, so I tried my case on, and it worked. So I thought, I'll just order that, and I'll cut it out. I'm from the sticks. We'll cut that baby out. Cut that little sucker out. I get that phone case in. Well, for, it was a long story, long story. I'm already 12 minutes. Y'all done clicked off and went over and watched Debbie stuff or Dion's or somebody or Jamie. And But anyway... I ordered it and it, it didn't ever come in and I questioned the Teespring who is one that makes it. And they said, oh, your order got lost. Well, we're sorry, we'll send you another one. So they sent me another one. Well, that's the one I got and it didn't fit. I was crying. I was like, I wanted my phone case. <laughs> anyway, my daughter's like, I want to be part of the groupie. So here, give it to me. I'll put it on my phone. Well, hers didn't work either. I just got another email from them people saying, uh, your order's on the way, so they're fixing to send me another stupid phone case that don't fit. So, you know, you got excess, and you want it, just holler at me, and I'll throw it in the mail to you. I was upset. So, anyway, I, I said all that to say I was going to make my own phone case, but it's a flop. So, Debbie, I need you, I need you to run an intervention and make a phone case that'll fit my phone. I mean, just, just show me how. I'm just at loss. It just ain't working. And I know it can be done. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get me a hard case next time, and I'm going to try it. I'm, I'm going to do molds on the back. I don't want no transfer. I want molds. I like the molds. Anyway, that's my dilemma that I'm in. Is I need a phone case, Debbie. So let's get going on that like you don't have anything else to do in your world. <laughs> I love you, Debbie, and I love all of you painting ladies. Y'all are the bomb diggity. Y'all have made this COVID stay just wonderful. This COVID quarantine time has not been boring at all with all you lovely ladies on Debbie's live videos. I've become to know all of most of you that's always on there by name, and y'all are just so sweet and kind, and I enjoy it, and I have loved watching it and so when all this is over with debbie don't stop just keep it up keep it up we want to just keep learning something new all the time anyway y'all have a wonderful day i promise this is the last video today this is i might as well just stay on here seven more seconds and it'll be 15 minutes five four 
three, two, one. Bye. I love y'all.